hello guys welcome back to my channel it's your favorite girl online cafe lab in the building so in today's video i would um i've gotten some couple of messages in my inbox and i'm trying to like um show you guys what you need to do so for people who whose bachelor's degree was not in biomedical science or medical laboratory science but um you are probably planning to come for your master's in the uk or you're already doing your master's in in biomedical science in the uk so this is for you like I, I said to some of you that you need to contact IBMS. so you can go to the institute of biomedical science website like you can see on the screen and you click on um now let's just scroll down you see what you need is actually hcpc registration your your goal is to of course if you want to join the IBMS, you can but your goal for now is to like get HCPC registered such that you'll be able to like apply for jobs as biomedical scientists right so let's go to HCPC registration okay so find out more about this blah 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 how to become HCPC registered so if you're interested in working as a biomedical scientist in the UK find out more about becoming HCPC registered if you have not completed an IBMS accredited or HCPC approved honors degree. Now, this IBMS accredited degree, I would say, is more for people who, who, who studied in the UK. Yeah. An HCPC approved honors degree. Like, like the summary of all of this, the summary, let me just use it in the layman's language. Like, if probably you're studying in the UK and your, the, the, your biomedical science degree is not IBMS accredited, you need this or maybe you studied outside the uk and um your your you did not study medical laboratory science because of course if you study medical laboratory science outside the uk depending on the country you are from anyways but if you study medical laboratory science or biomedical science outside the uk if you are from countries like maybe nigeria ghana at least i'm sure of those two countries most likely your 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 degree should be hcpc approved so um yeah, as well as people from other countries too. So this one says, find out how to get your degree assessed by IPMS for HCPC registration. So um, that's our goal. There are some other things here. So let's just go to um, to get your assessed, um, degree assessed. Degree assessment. IPMS assesses non-accredited qualification against HCPC education standard blah 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 so um these are the things you need to do see um like i told some of you i know that you would if they like if ibms assesses your degree you will need to like do some top-up modules because of course you did not study medical laboratory science or biomedical science so if you had studied courses like let's say biochemistry microbiology any science related course yeah um yeah any science related course if you have studied any science related course that is not medical laboratory science or biomedical science you would of course need to do some top-up modules so at least um yeah so this is what you are going to do you need to contact ibms accredited universities directly so i need to take up the required modules and you will do all of these once you have completed your supplementary education, when so you will need a letter from the university stating this and this and this and that. So let's say you have completed your education, you will get a letter from your university that says that you have done some top-up modules. Now, this letter will be used to evidence your completion of the necessary academic standards. Yeah, because you actually have to meet the academic standards towards the certificate of competence, and you need to be. If this will need to be submitted to the IBMS either with your application for the registration training portfolio or by the time your training officer applies for your portfolio to be verified. So uh, this and um, we have some IBMS accredited degrees. We have some schools like list of IBMS accredited universities offering top up modules. So um, the summary of all this is that for if you actually did not study medical laboratory science and maybe you are doing your 
masters already in biomedical science you did not study biomedical science you did not study medical laboratory science and you are doing your masters already so you you might need to like do all of this so that before the end of your masters if you can take this top up modules while you are doing your masters so that maybe before the end of your masters you can apply for your uh, registration portfolio and all of that and one way or the other even before you end the end of your masters you know um what next and you will not be stranded and maybe after you have done every necessary thing you have completed you have applied um for for um ibms to like um grade your your course the your, your original bsc course and they tell you the top of modules to do after doing that you'll be doing a registration portfolio because of course like is the regional portfolio is like you need to like go to a lab and all of that to do some things yeah because of course you didn't study medical laboratory science and or biomedical science so it's like you have not done the necessary training you need to do that's why you're doing a top-up module and you also be doing registration portfolio and after you have completed all of this then you can go ahead um you can go ahead for your hcpc registration but just be it in mind that um need to do all of this so i'm just trying to like so see degree assessment for hcpc registration the ibms assesses non-accredited qualifications against this okay like i said uh, to determine whether individuals will need to undertake supplementary education slash top-up modules to meet top hcpc standard of proficiency for biomedical scientists you get what i'm trying to say to ensure a timely response to your documentation, we would encourage you to submit everything electronically via mail. Yeah. So I think there's a guidance document here. You can download that guidance document. Guidance on application for assessment of non-IBMS accredited degree. So you can just download it and um, do all of that. So you get... You get um, the needed information. So download an application. So just download and read this guidance. Okay. So read this guidance. Let's see. Let's see if we can go. Introduction. This document provides guidance not for application process for assessment of academic qualification that have already been awarded but are not from academic program which has formally which has been formally accredited by the Institute of Biomedical Science. This process is blah, blah, blah. So you read all of this. Please try to read. Try to read. So there are two possible outcomes of the assessment. Application acceptable. Supplementary education not required. So you might not need to do any supplementary education. Maybe when they, are, when they view your certificate or yeah, when they assess your degree. Or application partially acceptable qualification, sorry, supplementary education required. Please note there's a requirement for the HTPC for potential registrant to have add a disclosure of bearing blah, blah blah. Okay, application process for degree assessment. There's a part A and part B. Part A should contain personal information of the applicant, this and that. Part B should contain a copy of your degree transcript detailing which modules have been passed, filled, and compensated. Module descriptors, details of the modules content for assessment. I think this is like maybe course title and all of that. So, submission not meeting this requirement will be rejected. So, please try to read through. Completing part A, these are the instructions. Completed application form, please refer to the Documentary evidence which satisfy you have received academic level of attainment subject relevant to biomedical science equivalent to a UK undergraduate and confirms the name blah 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 for the copy of this. So just read through, yeah, read through degree assessment process, read through, and I, I feel like it's something easy, uh, yeah. Okay, see, see the content of a biomedical science program. You would have done human anatomy and physiology. So people that have done all of this, maybe that will not be part of your assessment. You, and part of the top of modules you'll be doing. Cell biology, 
biochemistry. So for someone that studied biochemistry, I feel like you would have ticked these first three um, boxes. Genetics and genomics, maybe you should have ticked this. Molecular biology, you might have ticked this. Bioinformatics, I'm not sure. Depending on your school, you might not have ticked this, but this is part of what they taught us in medical laboratory science. So microbiology, immunology, so so cellular pathology. Can you see clinical biochemistry again? So if you have done biochemistry and you have not done clinical biochemistry, you might need to do this. So can you see the the course content for people who studied medical laboratory science or biomedical science? So this is why you need to like take up um their research project. This is why you might need to like take up a, a top up module. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Because you have not done some of these courses in school, guys. I hope um um this um little guidance has been able to help you one way or the other. One thing I love about the UK is that even if you want to switch career paths, like they've made it easy for you. The only thing is that you might need to like probably do some top up modules. So I've brought this good news to you. If you have been wondering what you need to do, what you need to because it's not just enough to do your masters in biomedical science alone at least to the best of my um, knowledge you need to have you need to find your way to get ECPC registered and this is one way that i know but after going through these documents another thing you can do is to phone the institute of biomedical science i think their number is here you can see it on the screen you can phone them um see and they have a website and all of that. You can phone them just to tell them, okay, you are this and that, and you had your, your BSc in this. Probably you are doing your master's. We want to come for your master's. So I think you can even, but I don't know if it would make sense to come to the UK just for top up degrees only. But it depends on your goal and all of that. So you can just contact them and they will tell you what to do. But irrespective of what they tell you to do, I think. You still need to go through all these processes, but they'll be able to guide you away and you'll be sure that you're doing the right thing. So, guys, it's a bye for now from your girl, Lion Cafe Lab. Bye!